Yeah, hi sir. Hi. hi. Yeah, my question is, yeah, yeah, when to use the assume referential integrity? Ah, uh, referential integrity. See, what is a referential integrity saying? Now, if you have two tables, it is saying there is no orphan record when you join two tables. And that is all. That option is available if I am not wrong only when you are using Excel, not any other things. So, in general, when you have two tables, okay, this is yesterday's session's. So, generally, see here you have five, right? This is an extra record which is five. Now these are these extra records in these are two tables. Okay? Now if I say there is a referential integrity between these two tables, then I am saying there is no record in this table which is not having a matching value in this table. The same way I am saying in, there is no record in this table which is not having a matching record in this table. So when should you take referential integrity? There is no orphan records, no records that are left with are, which are not having any matching record in the other table. What happens if it doesn't? Then if I say if I, if I set to in referential integrity between these two tables, the output is for inner join, left order, right order, and full order, everything is going to be the same. Because what we said. There is no record in this table which is not having a matching record in here, vice versa. So your data is getting lost. So use the option of referential integrity when only when you are hundred percent sure that there is no orphan records that are present in table. Okay.